ask you your initial view of the scene. You testified in pretty decent detail about what you saw when you walked in. Uh, what was your thought when you saw the scene of that, that bedroom? It was absolutely obvious to me that Amanda Peralta could not have shot herself and that scene, the way her body, the way her body was positioned, the way the magazine was, where the pistol was, none of that could have happened. The blood that I mentioned on the floor, that was impossible, and somebody absolutely had to have taken the magazine from that pistol, moved that pistol to the location it was, and had to have moved that body. So what did you do next year? I went back outside. I spoke with Mr. Peralt briefly. I told him that I would like to talk to him in more detail at the sheriff's office if possible. I told him he was not in custody. He was not under arrest. And I would like for him to voluntarily accompany us or go with us back to the office where we could talk to him further. Did he agree to accompany you? He did. He actually went with uh, Deputy Abernathy, transported him to the office. I stayed there another 14 minutes. Uh, I walked downstairs, looked around the house a minute, and uh, uh, recalled uh, the special agent in charge of the, uh, this area for the GBI and requested their assistance through their crime scene. Uh, you requested the GBI for the sole purpose of processing the scene. Correct. 